Chemicals can enter an organism by three main ways, via gastrointestinal tract, respiratory system, and skin. Ingested chemicals are absorbed mostly in the small intestine. They pass through epithelial cells by passive and facilitated diffusion or active transport. With the bloodstream, chemicals are transported into the liver where a portion of a substance can be metabolized to deactivated or sometimes more toxic compounds. Not absorbed chemicals continue through the digestive tract and eliminate with feces. Inhaled chemicals pass through the respiratory tract. Big size particles are captured by mucosa in upper tract and eliminated. Those reaching lungs are diffused to blood vessels. The dermal route of absorption provides the greatest cellular barrier. However, the most lipid soluble substances can penetrate the epidermis or dermis and reach blood vessels. Filtration in the capillaries helps chemicals enter the fluid between the cells and intracellular distribution depends on the rate of blood perfusion that is higher in liver, heart, kidney, and brain. Chemicals with high affinity for certain tissues, for example, bone or adipose tissue, can accumulate and store for a long time. Getting back into a bloodstream again in certain physiological conditions, for example, during pregnancy and lactation. Some tissues are more protected from entering of chemicals, the phenomenon of blood, brain, and placental barrier. Chemicals are excreted through the kidneys with urine, the digestive tract with feces, with exhaled air, and through secretions such as saliva, sweat, breast milk, hair, and nails. Concentration of excreted chemicals or their metabolites and chemicals in blood and cord blood serve as biomarkers of exposure in HBM. 